All right, well, I came up with a new circuit for my uh, philodendron battery, um, plant battery. I'm calling it the Phyllis Inverter. And uh, this is the philodendron um, plant battery that I've shown on my last few videos. It's a philodendron plant with a, a copper uh, tube, uh, T-fitting tube there, and a piece of magnesium. And uh, this is potting soil. There's no uh, special electrolytes, just potting soil and it puts out about a volt and a half and this plant battery has survived for two weeks now it's been running things and I use it just like a regular battery it's it's run all kinds of things but I've been working on a circuit to use with it because it puts out about a volt and a quarter 1.2 volts but very low amperage and I had it running a jewel thief and it was okay but I decided to fiddle around with a circuit and I came up with this uh, little circuit here you see it's blinking right now. I've got it in a blinking mode. And it's an inverter circuit. And it's an inverter that uses a PNP transistor and an NPN transistor. It's a high voltage uh, inverter transformer I got from Electric Gold Mine for a couple of bucks. And then a great big capacitor. This is a uh, 2200 uh, microfarad 50 volt cap. And uh, that actually turned out to be pretty important for this circuit. I played around with lots of values here, but a big cap there seems to help it a lot. And if you wanted to, you could use a supercapacitor, uh, turn, uh, turn the circuit off, let Phyllis fill up the supercapacitor, then this would run at night just fine. But anyway, for this demonstration, I'm just showing that. And then uh, a variable uh, potentiometer here on the base of the uh, PNP transistor. This is a circuit. I'll go real slow. You got Phyllis here. <coughs> she supplies um, one and a quarter volts, a very low amperage. A big capacitor here. Uh, two transistors here. High voltage capacitor, then the LEDs. And uh, I'm lid motor. And you can see she's running right now. And uh, I've also got a little solar cell here too. And the little solar cell I'm going to show uh, can run this too. Just point it out the window at the light out there. And uh, it's got not any direct sunlight. It's just regular uh, incident light coming through the window there. But right now, uh, Phyllis is running this. I'm going to turn this up till this comes on steady here. This is an oscillator. You'll see these uh, lights go through different phases as the camera frame rate changes. And uh, I'll stop this when it gets uh, on uh, to its brightest point, which is right about there. And uh, that's uh, real interesting. And um, like I say, I can make the solar cell add to this by adding in the solar cell. I'm going to put the solar cell on it now. And uh, you probably can't see this in the camera, but this will actually get brighter. And I can turn the brightness up even higher on it. And that's using the solar cell with the plant battery. And so they're working in conjunction. But there's one other thing I wanted to show on this circuit that I found very, very interesting. Is the way this uh, tank circuit, which is what I think this is, I can disconnect the power supply completely and this tank circuit will still run and uh, that's running right now with nothing hooked on it and this will run for I don't know maybe 30 seconds or something um, in a blank mode so anyway I just want to share that with the folks that have a plant battery you can make this little uh, inverter circuit here it's a, a little PNP transistor, an NPN transistor, a 0.2 capacitor, 0.2 microfarad capacitor, a 1 meg ohm uh, potentiometer with a 100 ohm resistor going to the base, then the great big capacitor over here in um, parallel with the power rails, and then this uh, high voltage uh, transformer. You can use a a 3 volt wall outlet transformer running backwards too and then a couple of LEDs in parallel and they can be wired either way. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's my video for today.